six hours and 14 minutes. We traveled six hours and 14 minutes to experience Grand Teton National Park in peak fall colors, and neither I nor my friend Race took one landscape picture in one of the most epic landscapes in North America. Why? Why travel to one of the most epic landscapes in North America and not do any landscape photography? Well, it's simple. Bears. Some of you may recall me mentioning that I've been to this area about six or seven times and I've still yet to see a bear. And believe me, it's not for lack of trying. So here I am again, six hours and 14 minutes from home, camping in the Bridger Teton National Forest with the hopes of photographing bears. But this time, yeah, this time it's different. I have help. A self-proclaimed bear tracking pro. Race has assured me that he's never gone to the Tetons and not seen a bear. Well, we'll see. No pressure. Here's what I know about bears. <laughs> well, who am I kidding? I know nothing about bears. But Race, and now George, another one of my bear aficionado friends, assure me that bears love huckleberries. Find the huckleberries, find the bears. This could be it. This could be the day. And I'm telling you, I was focused and beaming with nervous anticipation. But, after a few false calls and lots of bear crap, no bears. Seems like it's the right spot, wrong time. Well, that's what they're telling me at least. Okay, okay, here's a subject I know a little bit about. When you see a buttload of cars parked on the side of the road in the Tetons, you better stop and see what's up. Good thing we did. Moose. Not just any moose. Mr. Shoshone himself. One of the oldest and most popular moose in the park and it looks like he's got a girlfriend. Sure, there's a crowd and there's a river between us and all that action, but it's something. Our first real wildlife experience of the trip and we have three days left to explore. And it looks like the ladies, man, the ladies love Mr. Shoshone. All that flirting. <sighs> looks like it's time for these guys to get a room. Not only is Race a bear tracking guru, he brews one mean ass cup of coffee. You'll just have to take my word on that. It's awesome. We had somewhat of a plan for day two. First stop, Willow Flats. We were there prior to sunrise in hopes of capturing the herd close to the road. Unfortunately, the entire herd was nearly 300 yards away, 
And trust me when I say, there's no sneaking up on these guys. These guys were on high alert. No complaints though. I just took in the scenery and enjoyed that beautiful sunrise. Oh, uh, did I mention we were looking for bears? Find the huckleberries, find the bears. We kept making our way deeper into the woods, mostly because the first set of huckleberry bushes we happened upon were empty. As I said before, right place, wrong time. It's possible we were too late. George said we walked about eight miles that day, but it turns out it wasn't for nothing. Turns out we stumbled upon another herd of elk. Our plan was simple, get on the edge of the forest and hope they come to us. After all, there's no sneaking up on elk, especially elk and rut. Our plan seemed to be working. They were getting closer. Not only were they getting closer, this guy was walking right in our direction. Well, turns out he didn't get as close as we'd like, but that's one hell of an experience. So day three, the exploring continued. I'm sure we walked another eight miles that day. Most guys, they just pull up to a bear on the side of the road and snap a picture. Not us. We wanted to sweat a little bit. Plus, we all agreed, hiking through the wilderness beats sitting in the car any day. Bears or no bears. I think I'm gonna do a t-shirt. It's gonna say, I drove six hours and all I got was a picture of this Junko. Enjoy. Race and I agreed it was time to rest our legs and feast on some low hanging fruit.
by low-hanging fruit, I mean bison. No shortage of bison here in the Tetons, and the scenery? Yeah, the scenery's not too bad. I said no landscape shots. Well, sort of. Day four. Some moments in the park are so magical, so magical that I dare ruin it with words. I feel like you guys would likely appreciate this more if I just shut up. So, uh, wait for it. Oh crap, I forgot to mention, we found the huckleberries and we found the bears. Thanks for watching, friends. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time stopping by, uh, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. No pressure, of course. See you next time.